Hey, what's up, YouTube? Unfortunately, uh, this thing can't outproduce or outperform. I know everybody says you need you, you need to redo your thing on par, but unfortunately, this 240-watt uh, LED panel will not outperform a 70-watt high-pressure high, a 70-watt high-pressure uh, sodium. It just doesn't work, guys. And it's like half and half. It's there's more red than blue. It's hard to freaking look at. The one thing, it's cool as beans. You know, it's got three fans on the top of it you can see those I'm not looking there but yeah unfortunately this thing can't outperform it will not outperform in fact uh, there's a 125 watt CFL that's shut down my whole area is kind of shut down this won't outperform uh, so don't waste your money unless you just love saving energy they do save energy and this thing's hella bright and it's a great light it, may, it might outperform like a 30 watt high pressure sodium but at that rate that's kind of dumb but I'm telling you right now, a 240 watt uh, LED of any kind is not going to outperform a 70 watt high pressure sodium or a 150 watt high pressure sodium. Put me to the test, prove me wrong. Either way, it's not about proving somebody wrong, it's about getting the best grow for the least amount of money, right? So, this is me telling you that this 240 watt LED is a great light but it will not outperform 150 watt high pressure sodium like a lot of people say they will they just simply can't do it so that's just my own opinion so I it might get a lot of hate mail and that's fine but in my opinion this will not outperform 150 watt high pressure sodium maybe with the depending on the strain but the light performance isn't that great in fact it'll actually burn your plants if it's too close yeah I said burn all right this is me saying good night and goodbye. Peace out, homies, and good luck with your grows. Later.